In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful partial knockout effect with Text Boss Lady. So stay tuned. All right, we are starting off with the YouTube thumbnail. This thumbnail is the size of 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And I just like to work with this specific workspace because there's a lot of room and I, I get to move things around. But obviously you choose the um, size that's right for you. I'm going to start off with placing some text on my workspace. And I'll just double click in there and I'm going to change uh, or update this text to uh, B. And I'm just going to make this a little bit larger like this. And I'm going to change the font to a varsity type font. So just type in varsity. I'm going to use a font called yearbook solid. And I'm just going to make that a little bit larger. And I'm going to um, add an outline effect because I want the font to be thicker uh, or the, the letter to be thicker thicker. So I'm going to um, change the color to pink and I don't want it quite that thick. So I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker. And I'm also going to change the color of my letter to pink as well. So I'll come up here to the text color and I'm going to change that to pink. So now it's a solid pink. I'm going to add another text box to my workspace. And this time I'm going to type in boss lady. And I'm going to make that a little bit larger like this. And I'm going to change the um, font to uh, a font that I just downloaded called uh, handwritten right here. And um, you don't have to use this font. You can use any font um, at all. But this is the font that I'm using today. And I'm going to rotate this font and place it on my text. Now, you don't have to place your font the way I do. You can place it any way you like. I'm just trying to show you how to create this effect. And then um, you can uh, take it away and you can place the letters here or here or wherever you have it. But for this tutorial, I'm going to try and place it here, but I want to make it a little bit larger. So I'm going to tighten up the letter spacing to make it tighter so that I can uh, make the, the font size larger, if that makes sense. OK, so I'm just going to grab that and just put that like um, like so. All right. Now, once you're happy with the placement of your um, text, box and your letter text box, it's time to change the color of your text that's overlapping the letter to white. So we're going to change that to white. Now the whole thing with doing this knockout, this overlapping knockout uh, effect where the letters uh, coming off of uh, uh, a, an element are solid, but inside the letter are transparent. The methodology is that we need two designs, one uh, with one set of colors and one with another set of colors. So my first set of colors is this. So I'm going to come over here to share and I'm going to download um, this design. It doesn't need to be transparent. I'm just going to download it. OK, now the next part of this is I'm going to grab my letter and I'm going to change it to white. And now I'm going to grab uh, and of course, we need to change also the outline because uh, we made the outline. We added an outline, so I need to also change that to white. And now we need to grab that text box and we need to change that to pink. OK, now we're not done yet because we need to bring that letter in front of my boss lady text. So we'll go into position and layers, and we're going to bring that B up in front. And that's going to create that knockout where the part outside my letter B is going to be that solid pink text. So what we're going to do now is we're going to share and download this again. 
and it doesn't have to be transparent. So I'm going to go to a new page now and I'm going to bring in those designs that I just downloaded. Let me just close that. And so I'm just going to go up to my Chrome bar and I'm going to bring in those two designs and I'm just going to place them on my desktop. So here they are. I'm just going to crop these a little bit and I'm going to remove the background. And if you don't have background remover, you can always just use um, the background remover that's free with Canva. So I'll remove the background there. And now it's time to bring these two or join these two together like this. Let's make this a little bit larger just to make sure that they are connected. Okay, so it looks like it is connected. Um, let's just see. So that does seem to be fine like that. And that is the design. So tell me, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you learned anything in this tutorial, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. And also don't forget that I've opened up my YouTube channel memberships where I go live every Tuesday and um, we learn something every week and I give my uh, adult learners personalized help. For now, my friends, I will say bye bye until next time.